Welcome to the Open Food Network. In this video, we'll show you how to register and set up a producer account, use the admin dashboard to change and update settings, and add products. Start by visiting the Open Food Network website, openfoodnetwork.org.uk. To register as a producer, click on Register at the top of the homepage. Fill out your email and password, then click Sign Up Now. To add your producer profile, you'll need just 5 to 10 minutes. Have your enterprise address and contact details ready, along with a logo image and a landscape profile banner image. Please read and agree to the terms of service, then you're ready to get started. The first step is to fill out the name and address of your enterprise. Notice at the top of the box is the six steps you need to complete to register your producer enterprise. Work your way through each of these. Clicking continue brings you to the next step, the contact details of the enterprise manager. Fill in the fields, then click continue. In step three, choose your enterprise type. A description is provided to distinguish between producer or distributor. Click producer and create profile. Next, tell us a little about your enterprise. You can fill out a short and longer description to promote yourself to prospective customers. Please include your company number and charity number here if you have one. Also select whether or not you charge VAT. Great, now it's time to upload your images. You may upload an image file from your computer or drag and drop one into the box. Your logo should be 300 by 300 pixels in size. Repeat this for your banner which should be 1200 by 260 pixels in size. Last step, you're almost registered. Fill in your website and social media addresses if you have them. Facebook and LinkedIn use the full profile URL link, whilst Twitter and Instagram use just the username. Well done, you're registered as a producer. You should now receive a confirmation email. Follow the email instructions to make your enterprise visible on the Open Food Network. You can now return to the homepage. Now we'll log in and see how to update these details from the user dashboard. Click the login link near the top right of the page. Enter your email address and password and click login. Hover your mouse over the cog near the top right and then click on Administration. This opens your user dashboard. To update your enterprise details and settings, click the button. The Primary Details tab is where you can update your basic details, such as the name of your enterprise, whether it is a food producer or not, and whether it is visible on the Open Food Network UK website. When setting up your enterprise, you should keep this set to Not Visible, then, when you're ready to go live, change it to Visible. The next tab allows you to update your address, contact details and social network accounts.
After making changes here, always make sure to click Update near the bottom right of the screen to save your changes. The About tab is where you can change your short description and About Us text, which are visible with your public listing on the Open Food Network website. The About Us section has some buttons for formatting your text. These include various size headings, H1, H2, 3 and 4. P is for normal paragraphs, bold, italic, underline, and you can add web links. In the Business Details tab, you can add your company and charity numbers if you have them. Choose whether your enterprise charges VAT or not. Add or remove your logo from customer invoices and enter some customised text to be added to the end of invoices. The Images tab is where you can update your logo and promo image. The logo should be square, while the promo image works best at 1200 by 260 pixels in size. Again, make sure you click Update to save your changes. In the Properties tab, you can add properties such as Certified Organic, Certified Fair Trade, and more which will automatically be applied to all of your products. These properties may also be set individually per product when adding or updating products. Enterprise fees won't be covered in this video. In the Users tab, you can change the owner, set the email address which will receive notifications, and add or remove managers. To add a manager, click Add Manager, and enter the email address of the new manager. Then click the plus icon and finally click Update. To add a new product, click the Products tab in the main menu, then click the New Product button on the right. That brings you to the new product form. All fields marked with a red asterisk are required. Start by selecting your enterprise from the drop-down titled Supplier. Then enter your product name. You can optionally choose a unit size such as weight, volume or items. Then enter the value that relates to the unit size. You can also choose how this is displayed. Here you can see that this product will be displayed as 1 kilogram, but you might prefer it to be large, small or medium for example. Next, use the product category drop down to select the appropriate category. Now enter the price of the product in pounds. If you have limited stock, enter the quantity here, or if you prefer to not limit stock, tick the unlimited box and leave stock set to zero. Choose a tax category and optionally a shipping category if this applies.
Click Browse to choose an image file to be used as the product image. The product description box is where you can add some text to accompany your product. Finally, you can choose to either create or create and add another to be brought back to the add new product form. On the product screen, you can now see the new product. To add variations, click on the expand arrow to the left of the product listing. If your product has variations, such as small, medium and large, for example, you can add these here to save you having to create separate products for each variation. Here we'll enter the name, unit, price and stock setting for our new variation. Click Save Changes to add the variation. On the product page, it is possible to add or remove columns from the view using the Columns button so you can see the information you want. That's all for this video. We hope you found it helpful. Remember, you can access a full user guide and user forum via our website openfoodnetwork.org.uk